This is the launching of our new ad campaign. Your future is our future. Tonight what does the brand mean to you? The brand? The brand is the image and the future of the company. Recognition, um, Premier Bank, um, good friendly staff. Uh, it means a great financial institution, a bank you can rely on somewhere you want to invest your money. I think Westpac has a very strong brand in Australia and internationally. It's uh, Australia's first bank, as we know, and uh, I think it's, it's green environmental push as well as uh, looking after women and uh, just generally being a great bank uh, for customers is what makes us a great, a great place to work. I guess it's all about uh, ourselves as a company and the customer. Nice Good, smiling mace, face at five past nine on a Monday morning. This is my first day back after seven months of maternity leave. To me, it means uh, a lot to do with customer services, satisfaction and integrity of the customers. I think, um, I suppose for me, like the Westpac brand, and clearly I've been out of touch with the, you know, the rebranding, but I think as an organisation and um, our community and social responsibility, it has a lot of impact to you know, my commitment to the organisation, particularly now that I've got a family, because you see things from a different light, I think. So. Uh, it's uh, everything we've got. It's what we sold to the public. And we're going to a new phase of the branding, your future is our future. What, what does that phrase mean? I think it has multiple applications. It has applications for the staff, it has applications for the customer, for the shareholder. I think it's very good positioning around today and tomorrow. Um, I think it brings together some of the elements of the old um, commercials and the old branding and brings it into something newer. It means what customers are expecting from us is what they will get from us. And in terms of moving forward, we are moving with them and uh, their expectations are our expectations as well. Well, you've got to give uh, some thought to the next generation. You've got to uh, make sure things are sustainable for uh, your kids and your grandkids. Well, I think it says we're here open for business and we're going forward. Some interesting views from some of our employees. Hello and welcome to Westpac TV, I'm Mark Bailey. And joining me now to talk more about the next phase of the brand campaign is the General Manager of Consumer Marketing, Susan Nixon. Susan, thanks for taking the time to speak with us. A real pleasure, thank you. Now, we hear a lot about brand and I'm really interested from your perspective, you've only been here 12 months, mm -hmm. what is the Westpac brand to you? Well, I think a brand is about a promise and it's about a delivery and our brand is about delivering a better future for all Australians. Uh, we have a brand belief that every generation should live better than the last. That's our brand. You also mentioned to me before that there's intangibles and tangibles mm -hmm. around brand. Yes, the tangibles are things like uh, the number of branches we have, our call centres, our staff, and the intangibles are our culture, the belief system of the organisation, the thing that will make it really different in the, in the minds of customers and other stakeholders. Everyone would be familiar with the Equator Principles advertisement, of mm. course, and, and the fact that every generation should live better than the last. Yes. So why are we moving to this new phase of the branding, okay. your future is our future? The every generation should live better than the last is actually a brand belief. We don't have a tagline at the moment. Uh, your future is our future is a tagline. It's the first tagline we've had for about five years. And every generation should live better than the last was sometimes a difficult for people to recall. They couldn't remember all the words that went with it. And so we've been able to consolidate it into your future is our future. The really important thing about that is it shows mutual dependency and customers are very well aware that we are not going to be successful unless they are successful in reaching their own aspirations and goals. So you mean mutual dependency from an internal and external perspective? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. well, and there's a television commercial that's been produced around this? Yes, there is. Uh, we've been in research now for quite a while and we've tried to find the images that resonated with customers emotionally as well as rationally. So we've got a commercial that has a number of cameo shots showing um, a father and his baby and the baby opens and smiles, which is ever so sweet. We pick up on the penguins again. We also have a, a man and a woman working at the fish markets. It's a small business, but it shows employees at work. We've got a shot of trees in a forest showing that we are still very much concerned about the environment. And then we have a young couple who give each other a hug. They're probably hoping for a family and buying their first home together. Well, the TVC was produced a couple of weeks ago, and our cameras were there to take a look behind the scenes. OK, this, this commercial builds on the Every Generation Should Live Better Than The Last campaign of last year, and builds onto the Equator Principles and the Dow Jones work, the idea that we have a, a shared destiny with our customers, and it introduces the tagline, your future is our future. The style that we've approached for this 
particular campaign is it's uh, embracing a photojournalistic uh, imagery style. Uh, the essence of it is to be as truthful and as dignified as possible. So in doing that, we adopted uh, a, a photojournalistic approach, which means using a, a smaller crew than we normally would, using longer lenses uh, to create a more intimate relationship with the audience and the subject matter, and to let the action uh, of each scenario sort of be as spontaneous and as real as we can create. And of course, television and press advertising is just one element of, mm. of, of our brand. I guess importantly, it's about how our employees talk to customers. Yes. How do they go about that? Well, that's when the, the brand becomes part of brand delivery. It's been able to, to relate to customers in a way that's relevant to them. And within the bank, we have quality needs-based conversations. Now, that's a technical term, but it really means proactively asking customers how can we help them with their lives. And they can talk about their financial goals and aspirations and say what they were intending to do, short-term and long-term. And then we can find the relevant products and services that actually will meet their needs, and then they can actually achieve what they they want. And ultimately that all underpins our customer satisfaction I guess. Yes. So how does our brand relate to that? How are we tracking in terms of customer satisfaction? Well, we've been really good with the customer sat that this year. We've been able to close the gap and meet ANZ on a number of benchmarks. And we know that customer satisfaction has three components, the brand experience, the product experience, and the actual experience at point of sale or in the branches. The brand experience is 39%, the product experience is 20%, and that might come as a surprise, but products are becoming more commodity monetized and 41% is the actual human interaction between our staff and our customers. So there's an important message there for the for the customer for the staff to really get in, involved oh, yes. with the customers. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the brand is nothing without our people. So how can our staff get involved? How can our employees get involved? Well, I think that any, any staff member that has a community focus, keep on doing it, that's a great thing to do. Open up those conversations with customers, ask customers what they want to do with the rest of their lives, ask them about their long-term and short-term goals, and if they've got any ideas of how we can improve the brand, to contact my team on Your Future is Our Future website. It's been a pleasure talking with you, Susan, it's thank you. Thank you for inviting me. And that's it for today's program. We'll leave you with a look at the full television commercial to be screened over the next month. See you next time.